What's up, world? My name's Nicole, and I just want to share some things that are on my heart. I think that oftentimes we find ourselves in oppressive situations. It's in those places of oppression that bitterness sets in. It's in those places that resentment sets in that hopelessness, unforgiveness, um, even rejection and abandonment of ourselves, meaning we reject the things that we enjoy and we abandon our hopes and our dreams for the future and for a better tomorrow. I just want to let you know that it's in those places that Yahuwah reaches out his hand and grabs us. It's in those places that his love reaches us. In the book of Romans chapter 8, the Apostle Paul talks about how he is convinced that nothing can separate us from the love of Yahuwah. Um, no height, no depth, and he says not even death itself. And so no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter how oppressive or constricting the circumstances of life may be and then the environment the internal environment that you have set for yourself i want you to know that there's nothing that can separate you from the love of yahuwah that his love can still reach out unto you and when you experience the love reaching out to you it reminds you of who you are it's kind of like the prodigal son um, in the New Testament, when Jesus was given the story of the prodigal son, um, he took the inheritance of his father while he was still alive. And he went and he partied and splurged with some friends. And then he found himself out of his mind and in a pig's pen. And the word of the Lord says that he came to himself. And so that's what the love of God does for you. It'll help you come to yourself. It'll remind you not just of who you are, but who you belong to. And as the love of Yahuwah begins to reach out to you, it affirms who you are. It restores you by replacing rejection with redemption. It replaces hopelessness with the hope of glory. It replaces turmoil and anger with the peace that passes all understanding. And so I want you to reach out to Yahuwah was unchanging hand because no matter who you are or what you're going through, his love still reaches out to you. His st love still beckons unto you. He said that if I would be lifted up, that I would draw all men unto me. So I want you just to take a moment right now and just begin to lift them up. Just take a moment right now and tell them that he's king of king and he's lord of lords. And it doesn't matter the circumstances that are going on in your life, that all things will work together for your good because you love him. And remember, Remember, we love him because he first loved us. Allow his love to reach unto you. Allow his love to be your saving grace, your healing grace, your sense of deliverance. It is his love that breaks chains. It is his love that sets free. And it is his love that delivers. God bless you. I hope that this was a blessing to you. And if it was, I encourage you to share and like this video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Grace and peace.